Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, this is our second um, official book review on our YouTube channel. And I'm going to be talking for a few minutes about a book that I've mentioned a few times um, in different in different reviews um, over the last couple of years. I don't know, I don't think, uh, actually I might, I might have actually reviewed this in one of our earlier uh, issues. Uh, but it certainly deserves to be uh, uh, pointed to again. Now, the book is called American Jesus, How the Son of God Became a National Icon. And it's written by Stephen Prothero. And it was published by Ferrer, Strauss, and, and Giroux, or Giroux, however you pronounce that, in 2003. It is roughly uh, 350 pages long. Now, American Jesus... Um, now it sounds, the title sounds a little bit irreverent and, um, that's certainly not the thrust of the book in any way. Um, and, and indeed the political implications of the book, um, well, I think if, if there are any in it, it's, it's certainly, they're certainly difficult for me to discern. Um, the, the scholar, the, the guy who wrote the book, the author, is certainly uh, a uh, he's certainly not uh, sneering or anything like that. I couldn't tell you much more about the author, other than uh, what I know of him from this book. Now, American Jesus. Think about it for a second. Um, why would that be a topic of consideration? Why would that be a subject at all? What is what what's worth noting about how Americans have conceived of Jesus? over the over the centuries um, now a lot of my research is in Christology okay the study of the study of our conception of Jesus and uh, I've studied it from 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 the from the Gospels and on all the way up to certain modern presentations and so on now American Jesus I mean it it's uh, certainly a segment that's worth considering uh, so, so what do we think right off the top? What kind of, what what kind of Christological um, importance or uh, characteristics would would such a conception have? You know, when you think about the United States and you think about religion, in the popular mindset, you think of uh, you do you think of uh, critical, negative, sneering uh, things. You think of Hollywood looking down its long illustrious nose on. Uh, those backward, uh, um, superstitious Christians, right, from the Deep South. Um, now, I, I suppose a certain amount of that is true. Um, I, I, I don't know. I haven't spent all that much time in the United States, and I certainly don't trust Hollywood to, uh, to give me the, the truth of the matter. Um, now, of course, if we look at it from... You know, from in in the theological sense, if we take a step back and forget about Hollywood's presentation uh, via you know things like Children of the Corn, uh, Stephen King recent uh, his recent uh, uh, movie The Mist, where of course religion is portrayed in that as a as a a psychopathy as as something that's going to jump out and and destroy human goodness in times of uh, crisis. Um, now, if we look again, if we step outside of those those uh, stereotypes, um, we know that we'd have to recognize first of all that the United States is predominantly a Protestant country, has always been, was fa primarily founded by Protestants uh, after the Spanish, of course, um, and so in, in particular brands of of Protestantism too. Uh, we know that the in in time at the time of the founding of, of the U.S. Uh, Anglicanism was predominant, of course, and in the United States, uh, uh, you know, it, this form called Episcopalianism, and and of course there were the the uh, all the little sects that were on and off persecuted persecuted in England, people like the Quakers and the Shakers and all them. Uh, very biblo, bi biblocentric um, and experiential uh, groups, groups that wanted to 
feel their faith much more than uh, think their faith, right? This was one of the criticisms of Protestantism, again, of Luther, I should say, the, the founding father of Protestantism against Catholicism in the first place, was that it was too rational, okay? Uh, and, and, and Luther knew that God could not be figured out, and that's why he just, he, he, he defines our relationship with God as one of faith, okay? So it's, a, it's an insurmountable sort of uh, uh, chasm, you know, is that kind of idea that there's no links between us and God in terms of our reason, our rationality, but there's only one in terms of the gift of faith, okay? It's a one-sided thing. Now, how, how did this stuff percolate down to the pro pro predominantly uh, Protestant United States of America. Um, well, it's fascinating, of course. Um, there's uh, there's lots to be said. One of the first things that Prothero uh, notes is that Jesus wasn't all that important to begin with. Okay. Now this sounds really odd to say, but you know, in terms of the basic category, it wasn't a Christocentric Christianity. It was a uh, Old Testament um, deocentric uh, idea of God, which is which is fascinating. So Jesus, the importance of Jesus is a modern phenomenon, okay, of the last uh, 100, 150 years. Um, and to talk about this, this modern American, as he says, fascination with Jesus, Jesus as a national icon, uh, we have to talk about people like Martin Luther King um, and the, the social gospel that uh, he picked up from people like Gandhi and from Leo Tolstoy um, and from the Germanic uh, sources, people like Adolf Har Harnack and, and people like that. Um, and so it's a fascinating read in the sense that you know, when we look at other things, and, and I've reviewed books, uh, at least one book on uh, statistics of, of religion and faith in the modern world and the modern U.S. and North America, faith is not, uh, is not a rare thing in today's world, despite what Hollywood and the media would have us believe. Jesus is our national, uh, a national icon, the American national icon in that sense. And very much it's it's a it's 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 interesting because what do we get you know when we trade these things in our in our imagination we trade this old testament uh god that the first american uh settlers were fixated on to to the son of god to the social activist loving god and jesus the man that is our fascination, especially around Christmas time and so on. The baby, right? Think of that. Uh, um, the what was the the movie with uh, Will Fer with Will Ferrell in it? That was talking about the baby Jesus, uh, which is great. And it's a hilarious uh, commentary on on our fascination with this real human Jesus. Is Jesus even God for us anymore, or are we a bunch of Arians? Um, these are all important questions that uh, certainly books like this can help situate us uh, into. And, uh, and so for that reason, and for the historical interest, I, you know, I highly recommend this book. And it's very accessible, very easy, a very easy read. Uh, so I suggest you check it out. And uh, we'll talk more about Christology in the future. Um, so thanks for listening yet again.